Ohio. Good morning, guys. Starting out early to get in some toge runs. Last night, we drove all the way from Scuba Circuit to Scuba Mountain to stay at a traditional Japanese yokan, which was fantastic. Got some good sleep. Now, 6 a.m., we're gonna go run Scuba Mountain toge, which, you guys don't know, is the actual toge from the God Hand and God Foot initial D race in the initial D anime. We actually drove this toge last time I was here. It was fantastic. Just me and Masa though, but now that we have all the boys, we have Indra in the 35, Yushi in the Integra, Ken in the 86, and Albo actually got up at 5 a.m. and already did it. He's already at the lookout point, so we're gonna be meeting him there. Nothing better than getting a little toge run in your friends in awesome cars. Just Japan. Good morning from an absolutely epic, epic view. Look at this. It's, oh, a little GR. GR cool. Oh, whoa, that's cool. It is crazy that this is. How is this real life, man? It is seven o'clock on a Sunday morning, and there are so many people out running toge. It is so cool to see, but our lineup is awesome. Here's the view off of uh, Scuba Mountain, all of Kanto behind us. So cool. This is Tanaka-san's 86. Oh, it's got the white tees. It kind of reminds me of my old ones. <laughs> so cool. Can tell this was made to run on toge. Wow. Seeing an 86 like this out in the wild will never get old to me. It is so cool. Look at this. In pursuit of running our craft. Toge studio? Mm-hmm. Yeah, -hmm. mm. training. <laughs> training. <laughs> oh, traction control. Oh wow. So he's actually on toge to test out his traction control on the 86. Very cool. Japan is a magical place. Where else at 7 a.m. running on toge can you meet somebody testing trash control on their 8.6? Definitely uh, Japan. So <laughs> 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 so Tanaka-san was kind enough to show us his 86. Now we're showing him the Tokyo Drift Evo. <laughs> I think everybody's favorite part when they see the car in Japan is definitely the American license plate. <laughs> Dude, where else can you just like 
7 a.m. find uh, Tolge Hasudia testing his traction control. Takazawa was telling us that he's basically taking out all assists on this car, so taking out no power steering. There, like it's, a real man. it's not power brakes, yep. but it was like a brake assist that the 86 have, and he took that out, and it's now completely raw. The most raw feeling wow. that he can so get. Took out power steering, took out yeah. ABS to be as raw as possible. No this is uh, his fifth A86. Wow. So he's a A86 fan. That, that's what I love about here. It's like you know, people don't build their cars for clout. Exactly. They, they build them to drive. They a love lot them. of them, they don't even have social media. Mm -hmm. You ask them, do you have Instagram? They're like, no. Do you have like Twitter? It's like, true. No. No. passion it's, it's just, true passion yeah. i think that's why japan is so special it's different than anywhere else in the world for that reason this is definitely one of my favorite cars that i've seen here in japan it's like increasingly getting crazier the longer we stay look at i know tim's geeking out right now dude, I, dude uh, first toge experience dude you're just having a lot of first really amazing experiences so i set up my time lapse because there's been so many cars back and forth but yeah. it's just insane to see how many people just do this every day? It is just Japan. <laughs> this place is just crazy. <laughs> All right. Well, it's getting a little bit late and we have some plans for today. So we're going to do some quick toge runs back to the Yokan and get started with our day. Right. Ikimashou. Arigatogozaimashita. Amazing stay. Yushi, I got the gozai. Best birthday ever in Japan. Exactly what you want to <laughs> have. Well, very huh? unexpected morning running toge, but what an epic trip here to Scuba. It is our last full day here in Japan. We are not slowing down. Now that we're checking out the hotel, we're actually making our way to a very special shop that I've wanted to see for years. I'm super excited and to see a very special car, which you guys know of, but I'm very excited to actually just see the shop and get a full in-depth look. So let's have some fun. Welcome. Hi, thank you, thank you. <laughs> Welcome to Samax. You guys know Samax from the GTR and from all the videos that we've done with the GTR, but Samax also owns his own shop. Just so many hidden things back here. What is this? Whoa. <laughs> Are these customer cars, Masa? This is a customer. 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 This is a customer.
あ、知ってますかケイヨンジンっていうのはちょっと。そう、basically so like if you could see a front, they mm -hmm. he sells K cars to mm -hmm. like local people. Right. But actually, what he does in his quote unquote spare time is building race cars like this. So cool. And like his GTR, which we'll take a look at in just a bit. So, this is a um, K4 GP car. K4 Grand Prix is um, it's well, really well known in Japan where people from, like, you know, if you saw that in the video earlier, you might, like, there was a Panda Beat yeah. group that. And also, like they race in that car. Also, they race in like a normal, like a mic type of car for a lap time and right. an endurance race. But also, some people even built like a full-on race car like this, <laughs> and it compete in that series. That's so cool. So you're gonna race on that with us, right? Yeah. yeah. So I'm actually building a car for K14GP. I'll so. be there. Right. <laughs> Sometime, right. <laughs> so Sam Max, actually, fun fact, he raced this car. He took this car straight to Malaysia. Whoa. And then. <laughs> run it at the Sepang International Circuit. He isn't technically an owner, the owner is a different person, but he kind of takes care of the car, makes sure it runs good, races everything, it and erases it, and with with the owner yeah, himself. That's cool. Time attack with us. うん、いや、これはね、ドリフトして遊ぶんですね。Ah, uh, what he said is basically it looks really aggressive from the outside, inside it's mostly stock. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's why it's a, his daily. <laughs> so, funny thing is, right? So, Sam Max only has this wide of a T37. Uh -huh. So, in order to fit in the 86, he has to put a wide one. <laughs> <laughs> he didn't want to get different wheels. No. He wants the same wheels. So, that's what that's he's so going cool. for. This is the Sayamax shop here, where all the magic happens. Just arrow on the wall, RB heads getting built. How often does uh, Sayamax on rebuild his engine? Oh, three years. Three to four years. Wow, okay. Very cool. So I don't know how it holds up that well. あの、そのパワーいっぱい出したいからって、あの、ブーストかけたりして壊れます。Ah, uh, <laughs> so whenever he wants to have more power and he pushes more boost pressure, uh -huh. it does broke. Yeah, yeah. Like, so he's kind of like figured it out like fine yeah, yeah, yeah. perfectly. あれ、アルミのシリンダーそうです。ビレットブロックですけど。ビレットブロックですけど。こっちは何。穴開いてる。ブロック。ビレットでも穴開くんだ。そうです。ビレットでも穴開くんだ。ブルーはビレットブロック
ストロークが長くなると回転数があまり高回転まで使えなくなってしまうので。ああ、そう、if it has a longer stroke, right? You cannot use the hot more upper range of the RPM.、Uh, so that's why he stays RB26. But his more, his more philosophy of the RB26 tuning is more using the upper range of RPM with like a big boost. Right. Technically, if you're street driving and you want the lower end, but if you're just purely solely. Which is what he does, yeah. Which is what he does. He wants more upper range power. So, 26. So cool. Present. This is insane. Seamox、uh, is giving me this. That's crazy. Things like this that will get cherished for the rest of my life. <laughs> さっきのお客さん、東京ドイツを見たばっかで、見て、興奮してるの。そうなんですよ。That was bumper cut right here. A four door attack skyline with wide fenders too. RB26 rear wheel drive four door attack skyline. This thing probably parties, dude. Now, it's single turbo, right? Yes, yes. So, this is a twin turbo. He wants to keep his original form, so he actually intentionally uses a stock mounted two turbo, twin turbo. That's so sick. 2.7, 600 horsepower. Yep, Not, nothing too, too big. He chose HCR four door instead of、uh, Hako, if you guys wanted to know.、Uh -huh. Basically,、um, he really liked the, he admired the, the original Skyline GTR, which is a Hakosuka.、Uh -huh. Hakosuka GTR came with the four door. Oh, it's only one of the build that. Yeah, kind of build his own Hako But GTR. But in a 32 generation.、Yep. That's so cool. Now, what I really want to see the GTR,、oh, he has an Integra back there too.、Oh, dude, this thing is absolutely ridiculous. Still hasn't unloaded from Attack. It、yep. was Attack yesterday? It、yes. was yesterday. Holy crap, dude. What, what, what happened to you? My days, man. This is insane, man. Holy smokes. I know. <laughs> Look at the spacers. <laughs> I don't know how. I think that's like 30 mil spacer. That's scary. Look. Dude, this thing is wild. What Seiya Maki told, Seiya -san told me was、um, he first, when he got licensed, he was doing drifting. All of a sudden, he, want, he went to Tsukuba and kind of,、uh, you know. Became obsessed. <laughs> became obsessed with the Tsukuba lap time. That's how the 32 became. That's how long, so, how long has he been building the 32? I don't know. He bought that 32 when he was 20. Wow. I was 47 years old. 27 years of making it. Holy crap, no way. <laughs> 27 years of the same car building up more and more. Wow. He went to the mechanic school.、Mm. He graduated. He started working in a、uh, Nissan dealership. And when he was working, the car came in as a trade in. And he bought that car. And then ever since he bought it, it became like that. <laughs> That's so cool. 27 years in the making. 27 years in the making. Wow. <laughs> He used 15 engines in that 27 year lifespan. <gasps> oh. So basically, well, he's a mechanic. Yeah. First of all, so he knows how to rebuild, you know, build、yeah. it and rebuild it. So most of the parts went to the,、uh, the car parts,、uh -huh. not necessarily a car Engine, building. Yeah. 27 years, 15 engines <laughs> to make. One of the best GTRs of all time. You don't find stories or things like this anywhere else in the world other than Japan. Again, it's a reoccurring theme for today why Japan is so special. And eight years ago, he achieved the, at the time, world's、um, fastest skylines in Scuba. Wow. So, what was the time? 54 1. Wow. So, now what's the fastest time? So now that's his new target. That, now, the target is 52 Yeah. Now, into twos. 
早いです。はい。<笑> I know I had a lot of questions about this last time I showed Sam Max's car as well. A lot of people asking what kit is actually on this car. Well, it's very cool because all of his air and stuff is all Voltex, but the wide body is also Voltex. So special one-off wide body by Voltex for Sam Max on. Which is so epic. That's why you don't see anything else like this. It's truly one of one. And like we said, 27 years in the making of making one of the best GTRs of all time. And this is what really heavily inspired my GTR as well. Seeing Sam X run for years and years, just online, not even in person. And then finally being able to meet him and be at his own shop, getting an up close personal look at his GTR. That's just insane. Also, look at the quality of carbon down here. Dang, AP Racing pedals down here. <laughs> Massive bottle of NOS, sump system, carbon bridge seat. Wow. Running on Motec as well. What should I ask? That's crazy. Look at the, where you cut it right here. <laughs> Very thin carbon. Yeah. That's so crazy, man. So who got it in the compartment? Some NOS purge. Why did the speed of it? One of the coolest parts about the car, Yushi. Yeah. That's insane, dude. <laughs> yeah, that's actually cool. <laughs> I'm curious now that. Attacks over. What's next for Sam Max in the GTR? Sam Max, this this three is next. Where do you think attack will happen? Ah, is it? I was just focused on the goal of the day, so I have nothing else to do right now. He doesn't have anything right now. So really, just build it for attacks, Cuba. Yep. And practice, practice, practice. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Think it's good? Don't know. Yep. Yeah. It's been a super long day. Let's go to the hotel and just go to sleep. Nope. It's our last day, Masa. Nope. Let's go. It's been a long day, but just like always, our day is not over. We're gonna spend one last night here in Tokyo. Uh, Tim's never actually been anywhere like downtown Tokyo, so I would take him tonight to Akihabara and have maybe just a Tokyo Explore night and, and maybe even Daikoku Tatsumi or we'll find something, but definitely gonna head back to Tokyo for one last night. It's our last day and explore, have fun, and enjoy our last day here. And my very last night driving the Tokyo Drift Evo here in Japan. <laughs> one last night, Yushi. I know, right? <laughs> I was initially gonna park the car at the hotel. Ari, Ari, look at this. Say say it. <laughs> say say it. Might as well drive with Samex. <laughs> Yushi conned me into taking the Evo tonight since he has the And you Integra. know that. You I know that. Anyways. Yeah, I know it's tedious to drive this guy. It's not that great, but I still love night. it. Yeah. Tokyo Drift Car. Last day in Tokyo. Gotta do it. And it's cool cruising with Yushi as well. So yeah. we're gonna be heading down to Tokyo. Petrol station, then gas, then UDX. Yes. Sounds good. Back to Akihabara. <laughs> <laughs> 